If we pick two points at random, what are the chances that they're collinear? Well, how many different ways are there to pick two points? Ten? Eight? Did we write them out? Really? J O, J R, J N, J K. Those are all the ones with J. Oh, no, I'm just all the possibilities in general. Um, o R, O N, O K. Um, R N, oops, R N, R K. N, K, and there's nothing that starts with K that I didn't already do. How many are there? Ten. Great. How many of those pairs of points are collinear? Six of them? <laughs> yeah, what, um, what, what, makes, what makes points collinear? Yeah, well... If, if, if a line can be drawn through them, it's, it's, these points are still collinear even if there's no line there. The line is just, you know, for show. <laughs> They're still collinear if they lie on the same line. Now that line may be drawn, it may not be drawn, but if there's still a line that connects them. So what are the chan how many of these are collinear? Yeah, are there any two that you couldn't connect by a line? No. The, the interesting question becomes when you've got more than two points. Any two points are always collinear, so the probability is one. One over one. Ten over ten. Any two points are collinear. Yep. The, because you can draw a line between any two points. The challenge comes in when you have three points, you can't draw a line through any three points. For example, O, R, and J, you can't draw one line that connects all three of them. So those are not collinear. But let's answer the second question. Um, what is the probability that they're on J, K? So J, O is not. J, R is. J, N is not. J, K is. O, R, anything with O, o is not going to be. Um, N, R, R, K. R, K. Yeah, o, R is because R is on the line. Yeah. Yep, it, it's, it's, the, well, how is it worded? That they are on J, K. Only one of them is. Yeah, if it said if one point was on JK, but it says they, so they had to both be. And then N, NK doesn't work either, so I think only three work. Did I miss any? So three tenths is that probability. All right, now let's pick three points. What are, the, what are the chances that they're collinear if we pick three? So now the question changes. How many different ways are there to pick three points? Is it going to be more than 10 or less than 10? Really? Let's see. J-O-R, J-O-N, J-O-K. That's all the ones with J-O. Now all the ones with J-R. J R N J R K. That's all the ones with J R. Um, then J N K. And then I can't J K. There's nothing else to go. So those are all the ones with J. Now I'll go do all the ones with O. O R N O R K. O N K. So those are all the ones with J and all the ones with O. Then R and K, nothing left. We might notice this pattern that people pointed out yesterday. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still ten? 
10 possibilities it looks like. How many of those work? How many of those are collinear? This set and this set. Is there another set that's not collinear, that is collinear? I don't think so. So I think the answer is if you pick three points, chances are two tenths. Or one fifth. Don't leave until you get the review sheet.